places we've been, the people we've met, I want to share those with you. This is Memories from the Shoebox. This week, we lost a very dear friend of ours, Billy Rodriguez, an incredible live sound engineer. You know, I first met Billy back in the early 90s, and he was engineering for a band called Extreme Heat out of Austin, one of the best bands I ever heard. And the sound was incredible. Shortly after that, we gave him a call and said, Billy, if you're not doing anything, we want you to come and be our engineer. And starting in 1991, Billy Rodriguez joined our band. Instantaneously, he took the quality of our music to another level. And I really believe as we talk about 37 years uh, of being able to do this and the success we've had, it's because of those building moments, those people that have come into our lives uh, the musicians or the sound engineers who take our sound or our vocals or our horn playing to another level. And Billy did that. This is a, a, a big loss for us. Um, and I want to share with you some photos, if I can, with Billy a little bit. When Billy started working for us, we were doing primarily clubs, Memphis and Addison and all the other clubs uh, that were happening back in the early 90s. And then we evolved into doing a lot of private events. And, and here's a, a picture of us at one of the private events with you. This is Billy right here, um, sitting next to Jim Foster. This is one of the parties we did. And I think one of the attributes of that Billy brought to the band starting in the early 90s, which kind of took us into a private party, more weddings, more corporate events. Some of the other jobs we did with Billy, out of town gigs, great gigs. In 1995, check this out. This is us, the first day we landed in Hawaii, working for MCI, uh, the Memphis Open. Memphis Open, which has been happening every year, raising money. This is 94. Everybody's got the right golf shirt on but me, right? Got to have a collar. Little did I know, because I don't play golf. This is a great photo. This is 1999. This is us on another gig in Mexico, all grabbed the hat, guns and everything. And this is the bandito shot right here. The bandito shot. I love this picture. I've got this blowing up. Another gig we did in Mexico in 2000. Here's Billy. You can see we're always having a great time. Another gig we did right here, 2001 fundraiser. Billy with Angie Harmon. Mr. Peterson from the Seinfeld show. Alice Cooper, right? You know, we've been doing this Emerald City history and going through the 80s, 90s, and 2000. We spent a lot of time talking about the musicians, the different singers that came with the band and left, and other great talent that come in. But we, we haven't spent a lot of time talking about the front of the house, the people you don't see. And that's why it's so important. And we talk about what Billy brought to the band. The live engineering aspect of it really was an important part of what Emerald City's growth was all about. And it's funny is that because after going through all these tapes and listening to them, I had to stop. This is two weeks ago and said, hey, by the way, Billy, you mixed Emerald City Band great. And his reply on June 18th was, sure do miss mixing you guys. Your talent made it easy. Would love to do a couple shows with you, but I'm sure you're comfortable with the guy you have now. If you ever need me, I'm a phone call away. There's nothing I wouldn't do for my brother. And my reply just a week ago was, thank you, Mr. B. Been going through Emerald City Band archives and I have a lot of your mixes. They sound fantastic. So we are very close. So I have some audio I want you to check out. This is uh, us live, no multi-track, no overdubs. This is just a two track mix coming off his board, his mix. I want you to check this out. Listen how great it is.
another part of my relationship with Billy was that he was family. And that evolved over the years. He started going to Detroit with me. And that's where he first met my dad. And eventually became really close with my dad, became really close with my daughter. And we took many trips up to Detroit for opening day. Detroit baseball, we'd go there every opening day. We did that for about 15 years in a row. We'd go up north, we went snowmobiling together, and he was a groomsman at my wedding. It wasn't just a professional relationship, it was really personal for me. We're all gonna miss him here at Emerald City. I hope you now have a better idea of who this special guy was, Billy Rodriguez. I can't reiterate enough how important he was to the development of this band. So again, we're gonna miss you, Billy Rodriguez. We love you and uh, we'll never forget you.